Alright, so today I'm just going to try and get this in maybe and get this V-band clamp on the driver's side manifold and get the turbo setting on here if I can. So first, I think there's just the ground like from the engine block to um, like kind of the frame over here and that's kind of in the way so I might have to extend it or something so I'm just going to start by taking that out and uh, you can't really see it from up here so I can't really show you guys but I think the bolts uh, 10 millimeter so I'm gonna take that out real quick next I have to take off a bracket down here for this clutch cable right here just because it's in the way too and there's just one 8 millimeter bolt holding that in alright so now I'm actually having problems with like the tube will go in there but it won't get flush with the manifold and it's because like somewhere between here this power steering lines hitting it so I pinched it with these vice grips right here so it doesn't leak and I'm gonna undo it and try and put it on the other side of this right here and then maybe that'll give me enough room all right so I got this off and it goes to like the other side of this line right here and um, I'm just going to leave it disconnected so I can move it while I put that on. And so I plugged it with a spark plug because it's like the perfect size. I did have to cut it a little bit because it was like on this barb so hard. But I just barely cut it and I think it'll be fine. Next, um, I'm going to take off like half of this piece right here that um, this threaded part goes through. Because... It only goes to like right there at first so I can't get the nut on it and that's what I had to do on the other side and I'm just gonna use this I believe it's a four and a half inch angle grinder so now like I said I'm just gonna cut like half of this off So now that top part's just a little shorter so it's like I have to squeeze it less to get the threaded part through. I don't know if you can see down in there but I got that connected to the manifold. I thought it was going to be really hard because there's no room but it was pretty easy so now it's like that. Super close to the power steering pump and the pulley down here but it's not touching. Here's how close that is down here, but like I said, it's not touching. So, wonder if this will still connect. Yeah, it looks like the power steering line should be fine underneath there. That's where the wastegate goes. I'm not sure. I think it'll fit up underneath there. Now I guess I'm going to get the other turbo out and it'll be the moment of truth to see if it's just going to fit in there or not. So as you guys can see, it actually fits. The clearance is like really tight, but it's not touching on the belt anywhere or the fan. And as you can see, I'll clearly have to clock this part of it like directly down or something. That's all I can really think of. But yeah, it went on. There's only two bolts holding each end. If you didn't see the video of me putting that one in, um, I have to get new bolts and get the dump tubes, figure out the exhaust and figure out the oil fittings and then just plumb up the charge pipe. But I'm not sure how I'm going to run the charge piping exactly with like how I'm going to like why um, the boost together if that makes sense because most twin turbo intercoolers I've seen have like two inlets and the one outlet but the one I got has one inlet and one outlet so these are going to have to be joined by like a Y and then only have one inlet into the intercooler and I need to figure out how I'm going to mount the intercooler but I'll probably the next thing I'll probably be doing is plumbing up the oil for the turbos and then just tightening up all the bolts and stuff so then I can get that plumbed up and here it spool up but yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.